Hi guys, Lisa here and I'm joined by Wes for another Acorn Short. Hey Wes, how are you doing? I am doing fine. I'm not quite sure that the country's in a good uh, way, but you know, I'm okay. Yes, yes. Uh, well, hopefully we can just in five to ten minutes give a little bit of hope uh, yeah. for a country that currently does feel a little bit hopeless, doesn't it, at times? Yeah. Um, so in today's Acorn Short, we're going to be exploring the place of community, the role of community, again, within the Christian healing ministry, specifically looking at the role of community and prayer. Um, mm. So you've mentioned the importance of community, haven't you, in our last Acorn Short? Yeah. And today we're going to learn a little bit more. OK, well, I mean, one of the things really interested me to start off with is, is that Jesus sends the disciples out in pairs. And we sort of have this idea that Jesus sort of sends this pair like 100 miles that way and sends another pair 100 miles the other way and, and whatever. And I can understand how we sort of get that. It's a bit like Noah and, the, Noah and the ark, you know, just two by two. But of course, he could equally have sent them out in pairs, but sent the whole team to the same town or the same region, or the same city, do you know what I mean? Or the yeah. same village. And, and so I understand that going out in two by twos and going to the villages and whatever. So without changing any of the text, you know, it's quite possible that they didn't necessarily all go to all points of the compass, but actually they maybe went as a ministry team and visited the villages where Jesus was gonna end up coming and, mm. and sort of prepared, prepared the way. So even, even with both of those scenarios, Lisa, the, the role of togetherness, of doing this community uh, prayer ministry together was really, really interesting. And, and I think, you know, to be honest, it's, it's one of the things that's behind the um, Acorn Christian Healing Hubs that we're running. Yeah, I was just going to ask about that because we encourage our healing hubs, really. You have one person and we say, go find, you know, five friends, don't we? So there's around mm. six of you coordinating a team. And uh, within that team, there could be anything from six to 10 to 20. Um, yeah. So is what you're saying, you can, you can be in pairs within a team rather than yeah. a pair here, a pair there, a pair over there. Hmm. Yeah. And, and even at times, you know, in Acon, we've we've had three people praying for one person. In fact, at one stage, um, I got the whole team gathered around one person. And, and there was a there was a very specific reason for doing it. And so what, what is that? Go on, explain a little oh, bit oh, further. OK, well, you you, you you caught my question. I mean, the, <laughs> the thing is this, that. Um, the Bible says it, it, it talks about one shall put a thousand to flight, two shall put ten thousand. Mm. OK, so you'd think one would put a thousand to flight, two will put two thousand to flight. Yeah, but actually, it's not. It's ten thousand. So one of the spiritual principles is 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 multiplication, not addition. Right. So, for instance, if you and I prayed for somebody, it's not my faith just added to your faith, but actually it's my faith multiplied by your faith. Mm. That actually there's a sense that God is, is even more present. He's at work within us. So you then get three people and or you get 10 people and you're actually all reaching out for, for an, a, 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 an engagement with God that is not just one plus one plus one plus one. It's one mm. times one times two times one times three times one times four times one. <laughs> just, you just keep doing the maths. And, and there, is a, there is a greater um, gathering, if you like, or expression of faith. Like it says of Jesus that he could do no mighty miracle among them because of their lack of faith. Talking about a community. So what happens if you have a community that does have faith? Then actually things can take place uh, within that. So that's one of the reasons that we believe rather than just simply necessarily one person praying for one person, two praying for one or three praying for one or even four praying for one or even the whole church gathering around and praying for somebody. It, it's about a spiritual thing. Every time we pray, it's not a, just a social thing. It's a spiritual reality that we're engaging with. That's amazing. Um, sorry, just hearing that. That's so cool. And it made me wonder what the relation or if there is a relation then. You know the passage where two or three gather in my name, there I am. 
Yeah. And often I think that we sometimes use that when not many people come to events or to church, don't we? We say, oh, well, there's only two of us, two or three is fine. But actually, it's kind of just made me think about what you've just been saying. Uh, yeah. Is there a relation there or... Well, well, there is there is a, a slight one. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't want to disabuse anybody of the fact that if you go to a meeting and only two or three turn up, that Jesus says, oh, I'm not bothering to come, <laughs> you know, because there isn't a big enough crowd and, and Christ is present within us. Yeah. But it's also, um, I mean, just seeing that that phrase, Lisa, it's also important to remember that that it's Christ in me meeting Christ in you. And yeah. then Christ in us meeting Christ in the other person. So in a sense, however many people turn up, it's still an encounter. And of course, Jesus only takes Peter, James and John with him to some of the healing moments. Yeah. So, I mean, there's only three people there. You want to think, OK, you know, should we have a bigger crowd to get it done? Mm -hmm. But of course, the thing about that particular passage, it's also in relation to uh, the story that Jesus has just told about reconciliation. You know, oh, if you if you fall out with your brother, go to him. Yeah. If he doesn't listen, take somebody else. You know, yeah. and actually, and the question is, of course, if you go to brother, how many how many people in the room? Well, two of you. If you take somebody else, how many people in the room? Well, three of you. You know, and actually, the, Jesus is saying, where two or three of you are gathered to establish the kingdom in peace, I'm mm. there with you. So actually, I think in a sense, you're, you're you're right. There's a there's a little bit of a connection with that in saying when we come together in the unity of the spirit, something ha happens more than just me on my own and you on your own, or even me on my own with you on your own. It's yeah. a, it's a multiplication. That's a spirit. The economy of the kingdom of God. Yeah. So you've mentioned that community gives a greater place of faith. Mm -hmm. um you know it, it's a spiritual principle um of multiplication not addition what else does community give well and it, it, it practically it gives support to everyone you know yeah. you're, you're not you're not alone and you can be encouraged and and even in the, in acorn healing hubs you know if, if somebody needs a tissue or needs a cup of tea there's somebody else who can who can come and and just support that but also when we pray for people we've been working very clearly with the idea that in a sense in a praying pair there's a number one and a number two that's not about status that's just about function and so you know the, the the number one person in it will take the lead and initiate the ministry but the number two person is praying for both the guest and for the person who's doing the ministry you know yeah. they're holding it in the presence of god and and sustaining it there's the benefit of wisdom and experience you know um you know you might think oh i've got to pray for this i'm praying for this person and somebody you know might have already encountered something like this and might have some helpful insights uh, mm. to it um greater access to revelation you know yeah. god god you know i've been praying um I, i've seen it happen a number of times somebody's praying for someone and i've seen somebody just their, their partner just pause write something on a piece of paper and slip it into the hand of the person who's <laughs> praying quite quite you know hidden not yeah. not you know, not and show and it's just a little bit of revelation that just says you know this scripture this song this issue this word came to mind that just mm -hmm. helps open the thing up um but also one of the key things is is it does boundary it so it, it means that we can't get involved in the messiah complex you know the people being prayed for end up thinking that you're the person who's going to save them nor funnily enough us who are doing the praying think more <laughs> of ourselves than we should that we're the person so we would yeah. do things like we'd make sure that if somebody was coming for prayer repeatedly that they were not just prayed for by the same person or same people every time yeah. so that we don't develop codependency or we don't develop transference or unhealthy connections yeah. and, and i think that's important as well yeah it is i mean we've heard people on our team before uh, it, i think in their church context saying how they've had guests come and um they said they want prayer from that person in particular yeah. um yeah. and so yes yeah, it's, it's the avoidance of things like that isn't it um yeah yeah it is and actually in the end in acorn Lisa, what we want is we want people to encounter Christ, the healer. Yeah. Not not essentially the people that 
he uses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know, when, when yeah. people go away, I want them to, to be caught up with the vision that, that Jesus was there with them. And if they can't remember our name, all the better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, it's been great. It's been good just to uh, chat this through. And we encourage you, uh, wherever you are, whoever you're with, um, to just think about what the place of community has within uh, your Christian healing ministry. So we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, Wes. Yeah, bye.